Now, the Miami Seaquarium reportedly choosing not to renew its earned accreditation for its trainers. Local Times' Christina Vasquez joins us live from Virginia Key to explain what this all means. Christina. And we learned from this association that by choosing not to renew, the Miami Seaquarium has essentially bypassed an application process that would have opened the Miami Seaquarium up to a comprehensive audit with this association inspectors. I want to make sure that the trainers are taking care of animals and training them the way that they're supposed to. On its website, the Miami Aquarium used to talk about its International Marine Animal Trainers Association, or IMATA, accreditation for animal trainer development programs. IMATA is the standard for proper training of animals. Attorney Daniel Waking is a former Miami Aquarium animal caretaker and diver, and something caught his eye. The logo for IMATA now missing from the Aquarium's accreditations webpage. Accreditation lost by the Aquarium is cause for concern. An IMATA spokesperson said valid for a five-year term. The Miami Aquarium didn't lose its accreditation. Rather, it chose not to renew. Plus, to reinstate their accreditation, Miami Aquarium would be required to submit a new application and undergo a comprehensive on-site audit with Amada inspectors. Immediately, county leaders need to investigate this, figure out why this is happening. We're actually going to be meeting with them in the next few days to see what their plans are. This aquarium is in County Commissioner Raquel Regalado's district, who tells us following Lolita's death. The aquarium is going to be going through a transition. I think we're going to see like a Aquarium 2.0 um, and a broader conversation about what the future of that site is and how much of it will be animal based and how much of it will be an entertainment based model. A spokesperson from Miami Day Parks, Recreation and Open Spaces telling us tonight that IMATA accreditation is not required by the Miami Dade County lease agreement and its expiration does not affect or violate the terms of the agreement. Without this accreditation, there's no check that the trainers are able to do what they're supposed to or are doing what they're supposed to. And essentially that Miami-Dade County Commissioner is saying as she does a check-in in the coming days, as she puts it, with the Miami Aquarium, she's trying to gauge if whether or not choosing not to renew for this particular association's accreditation is a signal toward a pivot in its business model. We shall see. Meantime, the Miami Aquarium also choosing not to respond to any questions about this matter. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.